Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in legendary Iron Man super super hardcore land with 90 plus mods that make our life a living hell. And we're slowly but surely getting to that end game where missions are going to be extra extra spicy but we have Operation Shadow Wheel at our hand and it is only 20 sectoids and unless the game is trying to F me over we should use that opportunity because we're not going to get an easier mission. So I packed the C team, Ross is leading it and Zirkim kind of got talked into helping him but Haywire, Lyrical, Shinrod and Wilson got their very first option to fight. We only had sectoids really. One melee attack and that's all we have. Maybe he can also melee attack with the shield, who knows. But yeah, we got a couple of mine shields. We got a couple of um, normal weapons and we really are trying to get through this without much of an interference. So for once, we might be up for an easier mission, guys. Enjoy the ride and let's see if I can pull it off. Good, we landed. So, as always with these UFOs, as long as we're not starting the first pack, it will be a non-timed mission. So, we can nice and easily move forward without hopefully being spotted out. Lyrical and Shinrod will be the team that is taking the front line. In the meantime, Wilson I think that's a good uh, aiming angle. Might as well take the high ground there. Hayward will take a different aiming angle. That way we can flank with both of our snipers. Well, flanking is potentially a little bit too much. It is simply uh, having free line of sight. There we go. Sectors. Twenty-one of these buggers, and we should be good. All right, relatively speaking, they do have a decently sized detection radius. Oh, lucky us, we barely avoided uh, detection. Good, Wilson takes the high ground here. And we find another sector. Well, wonderful. Don't want to be caught in the open. I think for now, we got to take the low ground. Haywire takes full cover here. Zirkum and Russ. Okay, cool. Am I the only one seeing kind of five naked dudes running around? There is a stronger sector. What's what kind of sector it is it? Sector abductor. Okay. Russ on high ground here would have been incredibly helpful. Now it is a bit too late for that. Good. Let's overwatch everyone. If they are running into us, that's fine. No problem. We'll get a good Overwatch trap out of it. 
Yeah, the AI knows exactly where we are. Okay, out of curiosity, if we were to just hit these guys here, at 6 times 4, 24 points of damage, I think uh, that is the most damage of which we could do. So might as well start with it. All right, here we go. Pulling them. Good, sectored abductor. Five points of damage, six points of damage. Let's kill one of them, Wilson. Takes one out, good. Love it. But all of them do have tactical analysis on them. So only one turn next round. Two down. Fifty fifty. Time to kill that sector. Cool, we could even charge forward, but we'll do that in a second for now. It's great to know, uh, with the shield you can essentially give uh, melee attacks to characters that typically do not have them. Oh, we can't see this guy. Hmm. Unfortunate. We don't have run gun yet, so might as well just take this shot. And figure out that we're not hitting anything. Great. Full we'll cover for us. Six, ten. I think we're taking the ten. Oh no, the assassin. We're going to get her eventually, but for now, uh, she's definitely a serious threat. Very soon we're going to invade her. Return fire against missed shots, that's bad. Can't melee her, that's bad as well. Summons priests, overwatch, soul stealer. Um, yeah and is vulnerable against high ground and reapers two of the things that we do not have yet well guess what we do have a mind shield my dude because if you're only fighting against sectors kind of obvious what's going to happen. 
the sectors tend to be using their mind spin. All right, let's kill this guy. Good. Nope, not Overwatch. Merciless slaughter kill. There we go. Larium core and a repeater. Fantastic. Shinrod is definitely pushing forward. Okay, slightly forward because I want to get to that mission objective. Removing cover, hitting the abductor. Russ gives himself a protocol just in case. And then let's kill the guy. I need no help from them. They are nothing more than a distraction. Beat beat. Good, moving up. Chosen is somewhere near. Be sure she's going to uh, to spot us out next turn. For now, let's move up. On the move. Give it we don't want anyone standing alone. Not right now. Good, strong push, strong push towards uh, the UFO. I, I will not open it yet, but next turn I could theoretically almost move in, almost move to the target that is. Reload Overwatch, reload for us. Oh, we got three reloads, never mind. Chosen is immune to Overwatch, so if she attacks, she will anyways hit us. You would dare kill a child of the elders. Twas that you lied. Harbor wave? Harbor wave. You've got the chosen in rage. Let's take it out. So predictable. I tell you what, we're immune thanks to mine uh, to the mine shield. Your soldier won't last long, Commander. Perhaps I'll take them with me. If I mend their wounds, will they share your secrets? All right, time for more sectors. That will be an overwatch shot. But we do have a shield, so I'm okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Moving in. She's immune against melee, so... That's really the only thing we can do. She would be able to extract the soldier, can't let that happen. Can't really do much here. Lyrical could try to hit her. 35% is not really great. Alright, let's get some weapon proximity with Russ. She's poisoned. And she has no cover, right? No, she still has low cover, but she has an about 50% chance to hit. Okay, well, she's poisoned, which is good. Moving Wilson into cover. And we gave it our all, but unfortunately... That really wasn't enough. Is she summoning? She is summoning, right? Oh no, blindness. Well, that is cool. I don't mind that. Good. Moving to here. Marking her. Another 10 points of damage. Very nice. All right, Hayward, come on, let's go. I skirted him. On your order. Moving up, Russ is right in her face. Down to eight hit points. Come on. Can't be that difficult. Lyrico. To one hit point, really? Good. Does that remove the blindness? Please. You are the only one to have ever forced my withdrawal. And now you leave me no choice but to flee once again. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plan. All right, next turn. Um... The clock ticks on. We'll 
We have a lot of disoriented slash blinded uh, folks this time. I think we have a mine shield, right? Yeah, we had a mine shield. Okay, cool. Alright, Zirkin puts himself into position. Almost kills one of these guys. It's a bit of a cheap way to get around the overworld shot, but what can you do? The kill will go in next turn. And opening the door. Snipers move in. Next turn we do have a better position. Alright, 50-50 to get him down. There we go. All of the overwatches are essentially wasted. Shinrod is tanking. Stunshot, by the way, is also an... Um, is also countered by the mine shield. All right, let's start killing a couple of the sectors. I love it. Enemies here are dying with one hit. That is completely new. Okay, there is still an overwatch shot, but we're fine. The recoil can take it. Okay. Let's see if she's still fine.
But strangely enough, this offers cover. So everybody who shoots through here will have half cover. And there we go. That's the flash thing I was looking for. Wilson gets us back on track. Fifty-fifty. Misses. All right. I would love to kill that guy. Only full cover shots. Well, here's the deal. Russ just gives himself uh, a protocol. Free reload and let's kill one. Good. That means we still have overwatch. So the moment that someone moves, they're going to be shot at. Okay, most of them are disoriented. I wasn't aware that they can hit for up to six. That's full cover, by the way, just in case you're wondering. That's less than a 10% chance uh, for him. Still full cover. All right, Zir Kim. Rush, uh, rushes forward. And starts prepping this guy. Very good. Slowly but surely moving forward, 50-50 again, a little bit better chance than with a sniper. No problem, Wilson, full cover. Alright, that is really, really unfortunate. Come on, hack the workstation. Oh no, because he does not have his... Uh, he does not have his little drone. We took it away from him. His gremlin. Okay, but that's not the end of the world. But we're just we just need to get behind uh, the enemy lines 
find a decent cover spot. Could attack him here, still decent cover for us. Alright, let's first of all try with the rest. So we clearly need to get in and hack the workstation, right? Right. Wait, whom would we see when we're standing here? It says there is a target in the target preview. Are you kidding me? Which target would we see when we're here? Trying to get as deep into this place as possible. So we could stand here and then next turn move over and hack. Not perfect, but good enough for now. Good. Does anyone need healing? Let's check that first. Marginal. He is giving himself an aid protocol. And will then proceed to finish these guys here. All right. Equally, this year should take out one more. Good. So we're down to five sectors. Stunshot doesn't really help you guys. All sectors, that's a funny mission overall. I think I've never had all sectors. Good, hack the workstation. Oh yeah, delay the dark events by two weeks, that's fantastic. I hate dark events. And specifically this time we have like one more than usual. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Good, reload and oh, let's fire his pistol. Decent damage. How much damage? I think the shotgun could still kill him. Just need to find a space where we can flank him and where we are not flanked this year. It's not great, but it's okay. Come on. <laughs> Worked. 
It worked. Tail and rounds are just too good. All right, moving up. Fantastic. Really good. Zirkim is doing an excellent job this turn. Shinrod can heal himself, which is good. I like that. He needs it. And they are actually dealing quite a bit of damage. All right, let's heal up. We're in a good position. I've never had a melee specialist. So I suppose there's a first time for, every, uh, for everything. Good, Lyrica. Yeah, that's the safest position. Does not expose us. And for some reason Shinrod is dealing a bit less damage with his shield. Hayward. Nice little hit. Nine points of damage. Holy. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Damn it, we really made it. And the game did not trick us. It was really 21 seconds and a chosen. So, I don't know why, the, uh, why this mission was so comparably easy, but I do have a theory. Maybe the, uh, the mod uh, that selects uh, enemies it's just not has has uh, overwritten the Gordon Path missions, but maybe that type of mission is one where the packs have not been replaced. That would at least explain uh, why sectors were there. I don't know. It could also just be good bad luck that uh, they just drafted sectors and sectors only. But it was a good training ground and. I think we even got a couple of promotions, right? Very good. I think we're going to take quick draw. Shadow step is helpful. Shinrod, Revival Protocol, yes please. Wilson, Lightning Hands. So yeah, we got four promotions. That's exactly the uh, what I wanted to see out of the mission. Three Illyrium Cores and one Advanced Repeater, that's great. Plenty of Sectored Corpses for more Mind Shields. So no worries, everybody has a mind shield from now on if we need it.
cool. Well, that worked worked out better than I would have expected. Are we going to get the those crystals? I mean, we do have quite a few alloys. With a little bit more intel, we might be able to purchase something at the black market, but we're short on intel. Experimental powered weapons. Thank you. That's what I was hoping. Uh, we do have an option to create them immediately, so no point in wasting time with it. I'm wondering if it would make sense to get a wrath suit for our snipers. We got enough cores as well. Shall I try a spark again? Just to uh, just to get destroyed utterly. Rainmaker and just enormous explosion uh, radiuses can be really, really good for them. So 10 days here. Alternatively, another war suit. I don't know. Let's go with another war suit for now. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Silab six days. Good. And five days until we can assault uh, the assassin. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Looks like we've got some new information on the chosen after our last covert op. Commander, we just heard from the resistance. They found a way into the chosen stronghold. Good. We're definitely going to do that right away. So just double checking if our prime team is available. Yep, pretty much looks like it, so we should be fine. I think she was uh, she was hating Reapers, so might as well just attack her together with uh, Shadow. The banner should be enough to kill her. And what I wanted to double check now is on the resistance ring... Engineer plus three aim. Another plus three aim. I'm looking for short duration missions. Promotion could be good for a major. Dodge plus eight is fantastic and the facility, uh, facility lead on top of it isn't bad. So I like that. I think we're simply going to do that next. Health, dodge, and more health. Okay, cool. Well, I tell you what, we're definitely going to go. I already promised that we wanted to um, get the chosen down. And might as well be Roby with that plus one health. Why not? Amber chance low. Okay, cool. Good. Well, it's just an ambush. If and three uh, three people will be plenty. Plentiful. We will begin the covert action immediately. Good. And we're not going to do anything else but go to the uh, to the chosen now so next mission is going to be the fight against uh, the assassin i'm looking forward for it and i'll try to find the mod uh, that helps to populate the uh, chosen chamber 
so that we're having a few more enemies at the end. The last time the hunter was a bit easy peasy and uh, the chosen actually should be more like an end boss. The Arashi Katana as well as uh, um, as well as the shotgun. No, Arashi is the shotgun. The Katana was, I don't know what the name was, but that uh, that combination for our prime um, for our prime ranger would be great. We could use it in order to penetrate a lot of the armor. I can see Reaper being an actual lifesaver because you can kill uh, you can kill off a lot of uh, the enemies. Plus, implacable and untouchable together are a strong combination. The only thing that sucks a bit is the loss of fourteen extra shield on the other hand you can't miss so blade storm would all of a sudden become quite a viable alternative as well so i think it goes without saying that the katana is better and arashi as a shotgun is a fully upgraded shotgun with uh, three um, three upgrades plus on top of it it has almost no range penalty so there is no reason not to take it good Anyways, if you think about Rashi and not being able to miss, please show me that you are as accurate as that sword and when you are now trying to hit the like button. Slice it, dice it and tell me if you were successful. Thanks a lot and take care. Bye bye.